Hello everyone, welcome to another Anime Journeys. I'm Jalen, and I have Lenny. Good evening. And Perry. Currently right now nursing a headache, but I will be fine. Yes, and thankfully I hope you don't have a headache, listeners, because today is the final day of our pet labor journey. We're watching Pet Labor of the Movie 3, WX123, as in W and then Roman numerals X and 3. It went from Pat Labor 2 to 13. Yes, with the W in front for some reason. Probably Roman, it's probably another Roman numeral. Is, it, is that for like 100 or something? Maybe. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. I thought M was 100. No, and no, M is like... Uh, it's 1,000. Yeah, um, M is 1,000. So I guess it might be 100. Uh, I don't see anything here listed for Roman numerals on the uh, for the for W. Um, I've also heard sorry, this one literally... takes place. I've heard this one takes place before two. Oh, oh. I don't know that's that for answer. sure, but that's what I've heard at least. Okay. Yeah. But we'll know when to watch it because I have no goddamn clue. Yeah. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the first time. Out of all the Pat Labor stuff we watched, where you have not seen it previously. Correct. Ah, so this would be new for all of us. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I can't find anything in terms of the pronunciation for this, so I guess we'll just call it du- we'll just call it W thirteen. W thirteen. Yep. It was, uh, well, shall we begin? Let's do it. All right. And begin. If I remember, Not hearing... like, this one was made in like the 2000s. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not hearing when... anything yet. Well, I'm saying I'm not hearing anything yet, but so in sure. case you guys aren't, I'm not either. So I haven't heard anything either. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're supposed to be yet, is what I mean. I don't Maybe. Know. What is it? Japan and Maui heads, man. I don't know. Uh, still not hearing anything. Right. I don't. Is this still a logo or? Yeah, it's still a logo. Oh, okay. Know. Yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to be hearing. Yet. I thought for a second that was part of the movie. I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're starting off with Maui heads. Uh, yeah, I watch a lot of Japanese <laughs> animated movies. Yeah, I don't I think we're supposed to have anything yet. I don't see anything showing up yet. Okay. There's yeah, subtle ambient noises. Yeah. Same. Okay, cool. Then that's working. Are you sure this is not the cast, uh, the staff of cast talking to themselves? Let's not. Let's not do that right now. (laughs) Sorry, I couldn't help it. I almost went on a parade. Well, hello there, early 2000s CG. Yeah, this had to be made in like 2003 or something. Yeah, this looks very 03.
Huh. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh. no. Oh, shit. <laughs> was that fish? It no, looked I like think that was parts of a plane. I'm not gonna lie, I was with Perry there for a second. It looked like they were just dropping fish. <laughs> Like, that's not where the fish are supposed to be coming from. Baseball. Yeah, God, yeah. don't start shampooing now. Japan's favorite sport. <laughs> hey, that's a baseball. <laughs> I'm sure you're up. Damn. Uh, it's perfectly fair. You pegged a dude. Well, thankfully, that's not why he's getting swished out. They're not. They're not exchanging good mornings. This is, must be very serious. Very serious indeed. You know, I'm talking about remains, so yeah. <laughs> or at least that's that at least makes sense i mean he came straight from the game because it was an emergency yeah oh you <laughs> Oh, she's fixing her car. That wasn't the glove box. That was the dashboard. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's a big pack of six. <laughs> hey, man. When you want to smoke two packs a day, will I have two packs? I guess that makes sense. That is the smoking equivalent of I only had one tray at the buffet and it's a triple decker tray. <laughs> <laughs> it's called being efficient. Yeah, I didn't realize how big that suitcase was. Yeah, that is pretty big. Why does it not have wheels on it? I know, right? This is a future. Maybe it's a bomb, and she's yeah. come to blow it up. Oh. Wait. Oh, down with U.S. imperialism. <laughs> oh, God. He's Japan. Tell us how you really feel. 
He didn't notice that? Oh, no. I swear to God, I was half joking, but if it actually turns out she's a terrorist and that was a bomb, I'm going to feel real bad for that guy. I know, right? Also all the victims, yeah. but, you know, he would, he'd feel bad because he's like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Why do I always have to get the crazy ones? Why does my boner always lead to people dying? <laughs> Or if Yoko asks the same thing about her vagina. Oof. Sorry, but it. I'm sorry, but it had to be said. <laughs> when when you see the lane that says "too weird," you you veer away from it, not go right in. Ellen, <laughs> considering some of the questions we've been asking each other lately, it's just a matter of like, nope, full speed ahead. Whee! He's not wrong. I'm trying to veer away. You guys, Jalen, Jalen, you care for our betterment, and uh, we we are rebels, if anything, for people who have our best interests at heart. This is why mothers have headaches. <laughs> I'm not my real mother. <laughs> He's not even your fake mom. It's... Exactly. <laughs> I'm not even a mom. <laughs> Lord Jalen is a woman this entire time. Jalen, if if we make your permanent nickname Mama Jalen going forward, how how would you take that? <laughs> It'd make for an interesting story. That's all I would say. Ah, <laughs> uh, ooh, nice that little. Oh, oh, wait, the record has a warp in it. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. But that shows he loves that damn thing. So that is a nice stereo system. This is a nice room in general. Alrighty. We're already getting to the Oshiisms. Yep. Well, and Oshiism, like, as in, like, just the long, you know, ambiance and establishing shots. Yep. Also, the Kenji Kawai score. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm I'm also surprised that we don't have like a full on Oshi opening credit sequence. Yeah, they kind of uh, slowed things down on this one, or at least in this case, sped it up. Yeah, yeah. they're just like, "Hey, we're on a boat. A bunch of people are asleep. Hey, there's a plane. Uh, shit's going wonky. Uh, WX three. Ta da." Oh. I'm also noticing that we've gone about how many minutes into the movie now? Like 15 minutes? Yeah, give or take. And we haven't run into anyone from the original cast yet. Cast yeah, yet. That's, that's interesting. Oh, so I'm going to say, I'm going to guess this movie is meant to be a spinoff. I'm sure they're in this movie. All right, but I'm saying that I doubt they're going to be the focus. I got you. To be honest, I thought we already ran into them. Like, I thought it was one of the members whose names I forgot. You might be right. It's just a matter. I just, I haven't noticed us going to, like, SV2 or anything like that or seeing any of the, you know, the usual crew. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I would, I would assume Jalen would know then. And so the fact that he agreed with you means that it, I'm, I'm confident we haven't run into them yet. <laughs> Hi there, random English speaking person. Look, they have a translator with them. Uh, is, that, is that a band for a concert? I'm assuming that's. Uh, right. A band apparently named Nova. That's a decent name for a band. I like it. Send some prog rock. Oh, hell yeah. Now we're talking Lenny's language. Oi. That is a goby. I'm not gonna lie, I almost wanted to be one of those singing bass fish and to just pop off the wall and say hello. Don't don't bring up nightmares. It'd be funny, especially if it started talking like Alexa. 
one day somebody's gonna make something like that. Already have. Oh, oh well, I mean, I'll... someone hacked uh, the voice of Alexa into one of those singing bass. Oh well, my my point stands either way. Someone's already made it, and it's the downfall of humanity because of it. It's <laughs> funny. Anything it makes it more entertaining. Yeah, man. Skynet is tolerable if it's a meme. <laughs> In Toto runs a biomechanical lab? Are they blessing the rains in Africa? Oh, boy. Sorry, it has to be said. Anytime Toto comes up, it's, like, it's either a Wizard of Oz reference or an Africa reference. Hey, Aramaki, I love the haircut. He also got rid of his eyebrows. Yeah, that's true. He apparently combed over his like he he basically got rid of his baldness on top of his head and just combed over on both sides. He got rid of his baldness. I told him not to take more than two a day. I don't even know what the what the central conflict is yet. Do I? We might be finding out now. Well, judging from this, it might be related to chemical warfare. Hmm. I'm eager to see where this goes, because as I mentioned uh, at the end of our last recording, I have high expectations for the villain in this one. Hmm. Oh, jeez, what the oh, heck is that? Oh, we've gone weird. <laughs> Alright, Oshi, what do you got? Man, what? <laughs> what? Uh, granted... Everything up to this point has kind of been already in the realm of like what we're familiar with, in in a in a way, fashion, you know. Mm -hmm. Now we're like, oh boy, genetic experiments. It looks like it looks like the it looks like the Geico Gecko and Red Thirteen's love child. Geico, ten percent. Yeah, it looks like some of that. Uh, looks like some of those like, what is it? Yeah, those deleted scenes from the first Pokemon movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean like one of the fetal development stages of Mewtwo? Mm -hmm. Yep, or him, or like the other three Pokemon they had. Yeah. Oh. Bandit ship, Captain! Oh, snap, we're gonna need hey, a Aquaman! Is it off? There we go. Oof. Jeez, that thing is not much left. <laughs> yes, nothing happened, and you forgot that you saw this. That was essentially what was said, so good job. Okay, so I'm gonna guess it's one of those genetic experiments type thing. It just got loose and caused the plane to crash. Yeah, I can't they're, believe they're probably made a gonna that one episode. Yeah, they're probably gonna say something like, "Oh, this package is weird. It looks like it's broken out from the inside." Probably nothing. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, yeah, construction. We see Bob the Builder in his natural environment. Can he fix it this time? Lions believes that yes, he can.
Still on me, buddy. There they hey! are. Hey! Finally! What time you showed up? Like, sorry, we're late for our own movie. <laughs> this will probably be the only time we see them until, like, the second half. And then we haven't seen any robot action yet. That's true. Just Would, like robots. That is interesting, considering the last two movies opened with a very uh, dramatic opening scene of a robot fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. You you can't just be respecting women like that and not respecting dudes. <laughs> You're equality my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's your partner of all people. You should be letting him smoke in the car, not the lady. Oh, God, I thought those people were just froze freeze frames, but that's like a billboard or something. Literally, I was thinking the same thing. Busted. <laughs> also, that is a very nice lighter. Yeah, it was really ornate. People gotta buy their own bling on some stuff. I guess if you're like smoking that big of a box of cigarettes, you can afford a fancy lighter. That reminds me of a interesting anecdotal conversation I heard about where someone was like, if you, like, how long you've been smoking? They're like, ah, oh, eight years. They're like, well, if you took the money spent on smoking, you'd have enough to buy a new Ferrari. And they looked at them and they're like, do you smoke? No. Do you have a Ferrari? No. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, that's easily answered with, I don't want a Ferrari. <laughs> The, the, if they were smart, they would have said that. Instead, they just got flab they got flabbergasted at his uh at his uh, gotcha mm -hmm. thing, and then uh, and his name was Albert Einstein, and everyone clapped. So, <laughs> or establishing shots. You can't be a hey, warpy player. Reflection. I'm just seeing a lot of like genetics and scientific talk regarding this. I'm I, I'm starting to think this is very much a genetics uh, plot, if that makes any sense. I'd say so. It's got to involve that, even as a tertiary thing. Mm. Yeah. Which will be yeah, interesting because, like, the last two, uh, you know, movies involved like either terrorists or plots revolving around like. The patent labors and like military themselves. Yep. So this will be a it, like it's already very different because it was for like Pat Labor the movie, Pat Labor the movie two, then Pat Labor WX three featuring these people you've never met. All right, the power of my boner compelled me to give it back to you. Well, at least he's honest. 
I mean, I'm not surprised. She is pretty cute. Another one? I think it's the same one. Oh. <laughs> She's like, yep. <laughs> Okay, that sign makes more sense now because I thought she went to like a high school or something. She was teaching at a high school. This is a university. Okay. Okay, so it's not weird. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just have a bunch of tankies running around. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. That also explains why nobody was wearing a uniform. Mm hmm. Here we see Cranky the Crane drop his shit onto Thomas. If you said that to the wrong person, they would get the right description for their fantasy. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Jalen. <sighs> <laughs> a white dude with blonde hair he's also got glasses that have like a blocker oh the bleach oh, henry kissinger <laughs> well no he said he said that they saw a the fin of an underwater labor oh what a biomechanical labor well okay there's one of two things it's either a labor that is amphibious or they use an underwater labor to look for something and they saw a large fin. So it's either entirely like organic and a and they used a um labor to see it, or it's like a hybrid slash amphibious model. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Hmm. Huh. Zoom VHS level resolution. <laughs> but wait, they don't have the zoom and enhance. They don't have the zoom and enhance anymore. <laughs> what? Well, what happened? New detectives also the upgraded their software to make it more shitty. <laughs> this is the future, though. We had zoom and enhance last time. Oh, points for accuracy on that front. Oh, well, they're actually on a date date. And Kenji just having a field day with all this establishing shots and ambient music. And she has another big briefcase. Oh, the same briefcase. I'm still I'm still hanging on to my very implausible idea that she's planting bombs around the city. It's possible. Oh yeah, youth culture. Yeah, I may not I may not be a nightclub expert, but I'm pretty sure not even most nightclubs are that dark on the inside. Um I you'd be surprised. Say, those dance moves were awful. <laughs> what do you expect from a bunch of white people? I don't think they were white. I think in they were in Japan. Japanese. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, that dude got fucked up. <laughs> this is some creature of the fucking Black Lagoon shit, man. Just goddamn. Cranky, remember this time, don't drop your shit onto Thomas or Percy. They're only trying to do their job.
Oh yeah, when you're done with your job, time to go home. And then the elevator blew up. Oh shit. And that dude has some big lips. Considering some of the imagery we've gotten and stuff from context clues, I think the villains of this are anti Babylon project people. So maybe they unleashed this like this like bio project thing. You know, whatever this experiment is, into the areas where the Babylon Project is, similar to the guy from the first movie, in order to discredit it. Mm hmm. I could buy that. You think after twice, two attempts, they would have stopped this by now? I'm like, <laughs> no, we are stubborn and we're going to make this Babylon Project a thing because symbolism. Like, you think they'd at least rebrand it, you know? Like, we abandoned the Babylon Project. We, we now have the, uh, I don't know, the Euphrates Project. There. It's the same thing, we but are, it's called no different. Longer... Yeah. <laughs> Babylon Project, we are called the Baby Lawn Project. The yep. Baby Lawn. <laughs> Just close the door. Yeah, I was about to say. As someone who lived next to Shrine Auditorium for a while and had constant music concerts and raves going on there, that's not as easy as it sounds, Jalen. Look, man. They were standing right next to it, though. That's different. My I lived right there. next to one. Yeah, but I mean, they were standing outside the door, not in a building adjacent to the door. My neighbors across the street in the summertime just blast music until like 4 o'clock in the morning. So I understand. Rough. Can't see a damn thing in here. I also can't hear anything. And neither oh, can I. Oh, okay. Hang on. Sound is out. Difficulties. Well, there's always got to be something. I mean, at least we can hear, at least we can see the subtitles. So that's a plus. Yep. <laughs> I'm happy. I picked sub. Uh, okay. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's not. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What the actual? Oh, oh! Oh God, he's got teeth! <laughs> oh my God! Yep, uh, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Oh my God! Oh, it is a so it is a bio monster type thing. It's also amphibious, like you mentioned, Lenny. Look at that! It's about labor size too. That's convenient. That'll be good to fight later. <laughs> Excuse me, I like my I like my monsters to be about the size of the robots that I like to punch them with. Oh, let me guess. It's also blind. Jesus. Because it, so that way it uses its feelers to determine its prey. Probably hates bright lights. That's right. It's only come out during the night. Oh yeah, it has to be blind. Look at that. Apparently the God. monster also skips leg day. <laughs> it's easy to skip leg day when you have none. Well, he has legs, he just doesn't use them. You know, this thing... Have either of you guys seen The Host? Oh, no. but I've heard of the host. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Isn't that a Korean monster film? Yes. 
not necessarily so. the same as this, but similar design. Yeah. That noise. Oh shit. Oh. I see it twitching. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say this was probably partly inspired by Alien. I was literally trying to think of a good like HR Geiger joke to think of and say, and then <laughs> then you stole my thought. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. <laughs> You're a thought thief, Barry. How did you? <laughs> Barry, the thought thief. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jeez. Oh no, that that guy's oh. dead. Yeah. You can't kill uh, him. He's not even wearing a red shirt. He's just a beat cop or a security guard. So, oh no, I was two days from retirement. No, <laughs> just Honestly, if I survived man. this, I would quit. And the thing's shrieks are like weirdly human, and that's kind of freaking me out. Yeah. <sighs> Doesn't he have like a broken leg? Yeah, he ditched the, the stick so he could actually run. That is gonna suck for his leg. Oh man, he's not gonna make it. I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. Your husband did not make the assignment. Well, what happened? He got eaten by a giant fish monster. Wait, those are real? Uh, no. <laughs> That thing that killed your husband is definitely not real and definitely not a secret of the government. Digits. Oh. Oh, God. I didn't expect it to be, like, an... Like, an off-brown color. I just, I just figured it's red. I guess the red looks... Yeah, it's about better. It's like a pale red, kinda. Drop it on him! Asking the person with a bad leg to jump. Nice! <laughs> you know what? That's actually kind of smart. Oh god, he's swinging oh, back over. Oh my god. Oh wait! That's equally smart! Wow. Holy shit. Holy crap. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you did it. I better get a raise for that. Like I said, I'm quitting. <laughs> and retiring as of immediately. Mm -hmm. Also, hey, look, that might be the other water labor. Huh. Trains! Well, if only we had a, you know, a special vehicle unit to come and uh, handle something like this. If only. Uh, there was only a Tina specialized in said vehicle units. And maybe if there was two of them, and we specifically wanted the second one. <laughs> in fact, wasn't there a certain unit of the police force that just handled an incident like this not too long ago? Yes. If only that was a thing we could do. <laughs> oh, boy. But, sir, <laughs> last, time I, last time we got them, they didn't do anything. To be fair, the monster didn't do anything. <laughs> but the team didn't do anything first. Look, they are the best at winning by doing nothing <laughs> that we have ever seen. That is quite the accomplishment. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't that... God, what's his name? The one who's... Mar uh, the one who's married, married man. I'm, I'm a guy. Yeah. yeah. Unless he just looks really different in this. I'm just gonna call oh, him married man. Because that is yeah, easier. Just... <laughs> name, and also, I'm trying... I'm just desperate to try and spot cameos from the rest of the cast. Clancy has been gone for too long. 
Maybe she never made it out of New York. Maybe she went back. She went on to become president. Kanuk is too cool to be president. Why she deserves it. <laughs> and heck, every fictional president we've ever had is too cool to be president, but it never stopped them. That's true. I just, I just thought of this. Considering the the monster design, I'm wondering what would. Oh, I wonder what a motion if he did a take on an H.P. Lovecraft character or a Lovecraft story. Oh, geez. Now that would be fascinating. I'm thinking if if he could throw that level of effort behind a creature like that into something from Lovecraft. Nuts. This must be what she does when she's not in class. Yeah, this is her main job. Teaching is a side gig, apparently. The one that's related to this plot, I assume. Hmm, it sounds like it's related. And granted, this is probably an artistic choice, but I just noticed she is extremely pale compared to everybody else in this show. I was trying not to comment on it, but I was like, I was going to say there's fair skin and then there's just this. Albino. Yeah. I got it. She was the fish the whole time. <laughs> the main character from Shape of Water. No, oh, no. Which, have any of you actually seen that movie? Yes. I've seen clips. I have not seen the movie. Is it is it worth watching, Lenny? Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah, it's not like a favorite or anything, but I, I definitely had a good time watching it. It's at least worth one watch, you're saying. Definitely. Ew. I didn't know Japan had six flags. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you look in the right spot, there's seven somewhere. Oh, there's Goto. Hey! He always has to be up to something. He's the puppet master of the series. Uh, this pretty much is a spinoff. I'm, I'm pretty certain of that. Oh, damn it. There goes the sound again. Yes, Jalen. Is it was it definitely a good idea that you chose uh, subtitle for this for this go around? I wonder if this is just verb or you know. I wonder if there's oh. a problem with like their movies. Maybe hard to say. If I remember correctly, Shaft is a German based labor producer. Mm. Well, man, I kind of like the fact that, that it makes it think that the labors are not an exclusively Japan thing, that there are other labor companies in the world. Mm -hmm. 
touch. It makes it feel a lot bigger than it actually is. Yeah, I do like that too. More no. Reminds me of uh, Pacific Rim. How every nation or region of the world had its own distinct uh, uh, mech unit or something like that. Jaeger. A Jaeger. I can't. I couldn't remember what the name of it was. They all blew out their tires at once. Now we are going to reenact the opening of Ghost in the Shell 1. We're going to take it from the police's perspective. Major was here before us. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, hey, it's a, oh hey, it's a valve have crab. Oh, where's Gordon Freeman when you need him? This is probably still in the interim between Half Life One and Half Life Two, so he's not here yet. Bummer. Oh Jesus Christ! How they made him look more terrifying. <laughs> Damn it, it looks even worse in black and white. We haven't, like, outside of the tease we had of that one, we haven't really seen any labors, have we? No. Oh. This is a very interesting movie out of the bunch. Mm hmm. It divide itself and multiply? Jesus. Oh, God. Gee. It reproduces asexually? Gee, I wonder if that doesn't sound like Shin Godzilla. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> would you like to... Would you kindly please take a seat over there? We have some questions for you. Just... Why is this series such an omnipresent thing for fucking Shin Godzilla? I'm pretty sure I'm just convinced now, or secretly convinced that Ano just watched all of Pat Labor in one marathon and just said, "But what if we could find everything in this series into one movie?" Yeah, no, I wouldn't put that past him. I really would not. This is the same man who cast himself as Ultraman in a student film. I need to see that at some point. It's on YouTube entirely f free for viewing. Just type in Hideki Otto... no Ultraman. What the? Oh, there's only one girl in the universe that pays. Where if Ano ever comes over here stateside again, I don't know if he's ever been here before, but if he does, I want to ask him this question. It's like, hey, when you made Shin Godzilla, did you take any sort of um, creative inspiration, shall we say, from the Pat Labor series? He's just going to have you escorted out of the room. I've never just heard like, of it. You can ask my lawyers. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get, <laughs> to get a lawsuit. I'm just asking. It's like because there's way too many comparisons at this point. What? You didn't put a self-destruct button? Wait, human cancer cells? <laughs> Why would you do that?
Jeez. No! So, uh, does this make a deal breaker for us dating, considering I made now a, a rabid lab monster from human cancer cells that's ratting rabid on the city and killing people? I don't think she's the one that, that, that wants to date. I think it's neither here nor there for her. It's kind of just, eh, why not? Mm -hmm. I'd say her being apathetic at being partially responsible for dozens of people dying, eh, might be a red flag. Yep. Well, it's an airplane shot, but it's not a helicopter shot, so it doesn't count. Not yet. <laughs> oh, give me one helicopter. Oh, I, I hear those fucking drums. I can hear you there, Anno. <laughs> <laughs> you hear you hear those fucking drums. That's the EM like you know O two mm -hmm. fucking drums, man. I know. I know. <laughs> Oh, there's a synthesizer rift. Just gonna check real quick to see if uh, Kenji actually did make the score for this. I'm pretty certain. Oh, yep, yeah, he did. Oh, wait. Not directed by Oshi. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. It's directed by Fumi uh, Fumihiko Takayama. Behind Sword and the Stranger. Oh. Well, shit. That's, uh, wow. Excuse me while I go prepare some crow to eat. Is it fascinating that we couldn't tell? <laughs> yes. I'm almost certain that was almost on purpose. Like, maybe they're like, oh, hey, that worked really well the last time. Let's just do that. I mean, props to, props to him for being able to, like, replicate what seemed like an Oshi film. Something no. did... I will admit, something did feel off. Yeah, it's too sci-fi. <laughs> One, it doesn't look like Vaseline is on the lens, so there's already that. There's no... There's also... There's also no Basset Hound. There's no helicopter Dutch angle shot. There's... Uh, I mean, Kenji Kawai's score is in here, but I will admit that is not a trope universal to Oshi films. Yeah, that's true. Common thing that happens. At least the ones I've seen. No philosophical dissertation about what's going on in the movie itself. Like, there's no ethical discussion. Mm -mm. So that's already a significant amount of tropes gone. But it at least looks enough like one. Like, I'd say the look and the pacing, you know? Pacing, yeah. yes. It definitely feels like one. to issue a subpoena or something.
Now that was some real police stuff there. Yep. Oh no, she's gone. Oh no. Let's fuck that dolphin up. Jeez, that is a. Oh god, just making my spine. I wish this thing would finish its food. Oh, such terrible manners. What do you got to make the guy with an injured leg walk up the stairs like that? He's the one who said he wanted to investigate. Bro, he did break. Whoa! <laughs> Big dude. I just need to get a hold of these soundtracks because this just sounds like really good ambient just workout or just busy work music. Yeah, whatever you... I agree. It's very chill. Don't leave your umbrella. These are expensive. <laughs> Damn, offense. <laughs> my, my worst enemy. <laughs> Hello, Senor Leonard. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, the audio, audio cut out for you guys slightly, so I was just making a reset. Uh. Mm. Yeah, but don't worry, we're only gone for a few seconds, so we're good. Yeah. I'm sorry, this just reminded me of the Who's Line bit. It's just like, hey, Greg, do you want some uh, sour milk or mustard? I'll just have the girl. <laughs> Is this? I just want to see what's in this music collection, because I'm just curious. Would you even be able to read it? Well, you could look at the pictures, I guess. I mean, the album, album, al album artwork should probably give enough uh, indication. Oh, sound cut out. Yep. Hang on. 
Oi. <laughs> that, that wasn't a good oi. That's still no sound. There we go. How about now, Perry? Yeah, I can hear it. It's just very faint. I was planning to, but now that she's a suspected criminal, I'm going to have to hold off. It's kind of a deal breaker. But only kind of. Man. Boners are scary. They're very powerful. How do you know that? And we've seen enough tropes in anime wherever any any main protagonist, whenever they have a love interest that's threatened, they always go into berserk mode. Yeah, just watching Yu Yu Hakusho not so long ago, I was seeing Kuwabara take on a friggin' meteor attack, all because his girlfriend was in the audience. Good old Yukina. And we can't even tell if she like reciprocates or not. She's just, just like, "Who are you?" And he's he's just like, "Oh, I love you." <laughs> I just suspect that she kind of gets the idea that Kuwabara is into her. Um, when he is your brother, you won't have any boyfriends. Yeah, uh, that is. I mean, granted. He probably already gets it, but he hasn't done anything about it yet. Well, mind mind you, running gag of the series is that he doesn't get it until like the last minute. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I'm talking. It. I'm talking. He like he knows Kuwabara is into her, but he hasn't done anything to stop him or her. Well, no, the the gag is that he doesn't know for a while. Oh. Because I must, I need to get my information straight then. Yeah, man, it's like, like as in, like everyone is completely aware of it, and then he is like, "What is that, yo, know, you know, orange-haired fool yabbering about now?" And they're like, "Oh, nothing, he, you can't tell." And he's like, "I don't understand you humans," and <laughs> and that is how the conversation goes. This man just dropped a card and another card and said, "Bye." I don't know why, but he looks very androgynous. Oh, he's angry. Oh. Face is not pleased. Oh boy, that was an insult right there. Oh, gee, that there's where it went. What is that her case? Yeah. Is that I'm sorry, is that a helmet? Yeah. She's okay. controlling it. She's controlling it mentally. Oh, shit. She is a terrorist. I was gonna say mentally. I was gonna say like sonar waves or something, but we'll see. That makes more sense considering it probably tracks things by sound. <laughs> and she really cleared this place out. Or maybe not. Did she really even live here, you know? Looks very unlived in.
just as unlimited as the last two rooms. Uh, oh. Why is that there and so big? <laughs> I, I, I almost don't want to know the answer to that one. I have what so many know? questions. I'll start with why. Well, there was a book about how dolphins chat, so I'm going to assume it's sonar. Oh, so these are her parents. I suspect there's some kind of an accident that it caused both of them to die. Dylan, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Sorry, I was just watching. Oh. Ikes. Wait a minute. Uh, you, you got some, Lenny? Is it possible that... Alright, this is a stretch. The, the little girl got mutated into that monster. Ooh. And they're using that Ooh. piano as, like, the sonar to, like, lead it around places. Or maybe they're using her old cancer cells to create that cr that creature. She did say that the cancer cells lived on in the host after the even the original patient died. Mm. Maybe it's not the body of the girl, but it's the cells that were living in the girl, the cancer cells in there that lived in the host, and then they used that as the basis for this creature. Possibly. Either way, that's messed up. Yeah, extremely. There has to be some ethic vi ethics violation there. I think it's all. Um, all we're we're, we're, we're dealing with like giant mutant creatures and dead children. There's got to be something that connects the two. Yeah. 
If not, we're going to find a way to make the two connect. Man, that was the underwater labor. Hmm. So it's smart enough to use a labor as protection. It used to be. At least as a shield of some sort. That was quite a jump. Yeah, and likely very dangerous. <laughs> no! Camera! You know what? They got a guy who could speak English, but they couldn't get a guy who could act. You think Apparently. you're so fucking special? <laughs> Steve Buscemi and Gungrave can act better than that. Whew. At least he thanked Brandon for that fish. <laughs> yes. At least he has his manners. Oh, it is. It is having giving its order uh, orders given through sound. Well, now we do a dangerous test to see if they can lure the thing out. And they did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, and they just fixed that bridge. Mm. Well, uh, unless the thing I mentioned before about it being a prequel applies here. All right, let me rephrase that. God darn it, they're going to have to fix that bridge again in the near future. <laughs> it's too much work for one bridge, man. All right, so my question is, is if this thing can just replicate itself, then are they just going to focus on the main one, or are they going to try to lure in all the smaller fry? Well, I don't know if it has actually replicated itself yet. I think they're saying that it can in the future. Mm -hmm. So I think their plan is to get rid of it before it replicates. Yeah, I think they're planning to nuke it till it dies. Because that's kind of okay, what we had with the... Um, with uh, Shin Godzilla 2, where they're, like, confident that it would also, like, start replicating if it was left alone. Ah. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Hey, look who's here. Hey, gang's all here. About time. <clears throat> I know, right? Alphonse. And the other one. Throw it and the no rest. <laughs> Stuck in traffic now. <laughs> Arden, I just fixed this car. There's a helicopter shot. You get out of Dodge. So what do you think is going to go wrong? Everything. <laughs> I think they're something about their hypothesis for how its behavior is going to be off. Like, something like, it doesn't react to this sound, but why? You know, and, mm. and then it won't go where they need it to for the plan to go. That's my guess. And then one of them will be like, gasp, it was this thing all along. And then they'll do it and save the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, it's very, very vague, but I'm guessing it's going to be Whatever their presumptions about its behavior is going to be false, and that's how it goes wrong. I think Oda's going to fuck up. <laughs> that, that's my simple guess. That's that's. So that I think fair. Trigger Happy is going to fuck up. Are, are, those are the same people, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry.
I think they were going to try and have a concert going on here. Yeah, well, no concert. I mean, or music. At least a music video filmed here. <laughs> Unfortunately, giant fish monster thing it takes priority. True. I now have mastered the art of water drifting. That girl played a lot of Hydro Thunder before she died of cancer. I approve. She had good taste in arcade games. Mm. Ooh, that's not good. Uh oh. Um, wow. Did they do what I think they just did? Yeah. They killed that guy. <laughs> Ugh. Whoa. Oh, it's using an it's using an underwater labor as a suit. <laughs> hey, I found some cool clothes, dude. It's a fucking it? it's, looks like a fucking four legged gecko. Holy shit! It kind of no, does. Legs now. Like gecko from Metal Gear Four. I mean, like yeah, <laughs> it it kind of does. So it is kind of technically a biomechanical uh, labor. Really fascinated by it. Huh. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> this is the wrong shiny piece of candy. It destroys candy. There we go. You go right, Perry. Hey, you are officially on the crazy train. No, she's not moving up the stairs. Said you wanted him to stop you. I think that was just wishful thinking.
God, the design of this thing looks fucking cool, man. Yeah. It's got those monster steps. Fire all the missiles at it. This is going to attack everything. Got a police baton and I'm not afraid to use it. Don't oh, there, fuck it there. up, Oda. it in place for long enough oh there we go no <laughs> he just stood there Fuck. and allowed that to happen really? in the face <laughs> yeah I'll do good I was about to say, like, it, you can just get point blank with it, you know? Oh, to just fire into its mouth. Just go for it. Those. He's only got one. He's got to hold it in. Do it now, 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 yeah. now! Yeah, thank and there you! There you fucking go. No! Ugh. I'm glad he realized. Are you serious? <laughs> like that damn idiot to be fair they they have to bring her in yep. they won't get the chance because she's gonna slip <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, my thoughts exactly What are you uh -oh. doing? It's too much of an abomination. It must be destroyed. Oh, they're gonna make sense. Hmm. 
What? You guys saw that too, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I just didn't know what to say. This monster's on fire. And she did. Ooh, that slide, though. Well, the fact that they just have a stadium just randomly sitting out there in the middle of Tokyo Bay. <laughs> Special event stage. Oh, Jesus, that's so much to get through. Oh, God, many. Granted, I don't even think anyone's supposed to get through this. Are you guys hearing anything right now? Because I didn't hear SWAT. It's very faint. Well, it's just someone talking softly on the radio. True. Fucking Goto. <laughs> Smoke enough, huh? Using her lighter. Well, that's sweet of him. Huh. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. I didn't I didn't have a bad time but I I, I don't 
I was gonna be blunt. I don't think that measured up to the other two nearly as much. It's so out of left field. And like so different. look, the animation is great. All right, mm-hmm. especially stuff with like the creature. You know, like that stuff was fantastic. But just everything else just didn't. I don't know. It just didn't hit me. You know. It was okay. That like that was fine. You know, like mm-hmm. I didn't dislike anything with it but just like the other ones just like you had really interesting kind of like like Machiavellian plots he had to unweave and this I didn't think it was really that deep it was just thing got out oh man I put my daughter's cancer cells in it oh it's dead like like I I, I didn't feel like there's like a master plan to this you know it's just Mm mm-hmm or at the very least, it was much simpler than other master plans we've seen thus far, you know? Honestly, probably the simplest pl- plot we've seen in a Pat Labor thing this entire time. Overarching plot. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. No, like, like, it wasn't bad, but uh, I think I'll say, I think safely. Uh, that Pat Labor Two is the best thing we've seen thus far in the in the series. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I'll agree. agree. Yeah, same. Honestly, I think I it, like I did, again I didn't dislike this, but I think I would probably prefer Pat Labor One over this. Mm-hmm. Same. Um, it, it would help if they were in it in this movie. Cause like uh, what are... certain characters, I just didn't know like what we were looking for, what to follow, and. And they were just so dry, just to be honest. Like, the, like most of them just didn't do a ton. You know, mm-hmm. I get that for Goto, but that's because we have him as a long-established, like, character. But he also has his, like, scheming that's going on to kind of help with this, you know? Mm-hmm. We, know we know that he's very dry and stone-faced, but in the back of our heads, we was like, okay, he's got something planned this entire time. Exactly. Yeah. No, you're you're right, Lenny. This is without a doubt the. It's honestly probably the simplest for a Pat Labor movie out of the three, but also one of the simpler plots in the series. I mean, I was going to be frank. Like, even the simplicity isn't really what I would say. I would find issue with is just I would find it to be the weakest out of this trilogy. Like, it just had the least compelling, like, narrative and mystery to it mm-hmm. for me. Yeah. I, I can I can agree to that. The monster was cool, though. The monster was great. Like, I, I love that thing, man. It's just, like, once we kind of had some of its pieces together, though, there wasn't much more to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, I never really got, we'll say, her end game as well. I don't even know if she had an end game. If I'm gonna be completely yeah, it honest, it definitely seemed like um, she was just gonna kill herself when the monster was dead. Well, like, I guess what I mean is like, why did she add the cells to the monster? Did she want the monster to like, it like live or escape or blow stuff up? And what would that serve? Because based on the fact that she had that like gear you know, in there as well. The The implication, if we were following it correctly, is she was controlling the monster to attack places. Mm-hmm. Um, and that begs the question of why. Why would she want to do that? Because if she wants the monster to live, you would assume it would be something along the lines of, like, I don't know, making sure the monster gets as far away from here as possible so that the company that made it and the Japanese government don't find out. Instead right. of you know, attacking random places and nightclubs and such. So, like, uh, I, I, like, I'm, maybe there's other stuff that I'm just not reading between the lines, but, like, the other ones I got, all right? You know, when the guy had that project with the Ark in the first one, you know, killed himself after he, like, infected the operating software of all of the labors. I knew exactly what he was trying to do. All right, he was trying to sabotage that project, you know, the Babylon project, by making yeah. all the labors look unreliable and mm. dangerous. All right, everything uh, makes sense. You... Yeah, um, like more of a prop, more of a nuisance than they are an asset. 
Yeah, and then second guy was basically, like, trying to project his own um, philosophy onto, you know, Japan. In this case, he's, like, it, from what I was able to gather from the second movie, he was basically, like, the Japanese are too slow to act and too slow to attack and react and everything. So, I'm gonna, like, force their hand. Put them in a situation to mm -hmm. demonstrate that they're, like, inadequate and incapable when a real threat comes knocking. So... Right. I'm going to present a real threat to them to get them to wake up. Like, so everything jives. This this movie, in that aspect, for me, wondering, like, why they're doing what they're doing and, like, the reason behind that, I don't think any of it jives, to be honest. It's, it's just like, hey, there's a monster. Oh, she's got my girl cells in it. It's like, oh my... Yeah, it's... it's it, it kind of feels like nothing of it feels like nothing of consequence happened in this or nothing that really plus there i also think it also to considering that this is a spinoff from the detriment of or the aspect of not having a lot of our the characters that we've seen this entire time in this movie yeah mm. And granted, we saw Go we saw Goto a couple of times. We saw Now a couple of times, but they're very much in the background. Which I can understand some people say, "Well, it's a spinoff. What do you expect? They're not supposed to be in the center stage of the zone." Yeah, but there there are other characters we could follow that be the center of attention. But you can have the story more relevant to them. As this in a reason the for them to be more to involved. Have a Kanuka spinoff, and they chose a giant monster. Oh, that's. I was like, yeah, you could have easily done something. I was like, Kanuka could have had something in her district, and was like, hey, I need. I was like, hey, there's something going on here in New York, so why not? You, I was like, I know a specific. I or, ugh, can't talk. So say there was an incident in Kanuka City, and then uh, people in New York say, well, we don't know how to handle this sort of situation. She goes. Oh yeah, I was in Japan for a little while, and I know just the people that are perfect for handling this situation. So therefore, we could have a story centered around Kanuka, but she brings in her colleagues from the SV2 unit. Because mm -hmm. it would already be working with an established character, and it would focus on one that we don't really get a, a lot of time with in the OVA series, and we could still have the rest of the cast more relevant than what we're seeing here. Yep. And and I'll just, I'll just be blunt. I don't even if we had to work with completely new characters like we did here, I wouldn't have minded and I wouldn't have enjoyed it. But they just okay. Name a character trait for that guy who was trying to help the girl at the end. He didn't like smoking. He didn't, wow. He wasn't even he wasn't even consistent on that end because he didn't do because he just went back to smoking at the end of the movie. He also liked pretty girls. Like, okay, what about what about a uh, limp man? Like, what 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 are what is what is his character? He's an audiophile, and he limps. Yeah, that's uh, that's about all I can remember for him. Like, I I don't I I I don't really remember much. The most I can think of is he's like, maybe he's a bit more uh, no nonsense than the other mm -hmm. guy. He's right. very like, much the straight-laced cop. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, so he's a straight-laced cop with a limp, and the other guy just likes a girl. <laughs> I can't, I just... Because I'll tell you oh, what, I'm, like, I'm say... say... Your... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Perry. No, no, Lenny, I'm pretty much on your same page. Go right ahead, have at it. Like... Say what you will about Ota, all right, being dumb and like trigger happy, but we we know his character. Even if we don't like his character, he is a character, you know. Oh yeah, I'm in I'm in complete agreement on that end. Like, I would, and I know, and those wouldn't be your favorite Barry. I would if if this focus if this like focus of this spinoff was entirely on like Ota trying to save the day from this giant like creature. I, I think I would have dug that more than these, these, these nobodies. Think Man. about all the guns he would have used. It would have been glorious. Would have like, at least been. I'll give it this. It'll be. It would have been entertaining as hell. Mm-hmm. Like. 
man, I, I don't, I don't even know what this movie was going for. Like it, it was it, again, it was well animated and it was decently paced, but yeah, I didn't dislike it. I'll just say I am significantly underwhelmed. Um, I understand? Yeah. But I'm oh, very pleased that we watched this series as a whole, though, because uh, two. That that's a peak. Yeah, that, that's a spicy that's legitimately people. good. It, yeah, that was easily, that was easily the most entertaining thing out of the entire bunch. And granted, the first movie was great, but the second one was just like, oof, that's the full Oshi that I wanted. Why? I'm almost suspecting that this would have been significantly better if Oshi was directing it, but also had a. I'm pretty sure he would have brought in uh, Kisei in as well again for a different script. Yeah, probably. I wonder if he didn't do this one because he was working on Innocence at the time. Uh, let me look up and see who did the script. Uh, screenplay. It was uh, Miki Tori, and so not Kisei. Um, I'm looking up to see what uh, what he what Miki has done. On oh wait, weird. What well, nothing? Wait. Out. Yeah, nothing is uh, nothing's. Uh, was created by Masami Yuki and the screenplay was Miki Tori. I'm going to look at what Masami has done because nothing on Miki's biography is coming up. Hmm. So the story was designed uh, by Masami Yuki who is behind uh, original... Oh, okay. Uh, behind Birdie the Mighty. Oh. Uh, then there was... Uh, okay, so he has worked on some of Pat Labor, namely... Some of the open. Oh, he was behind the hope opening animation for the OVAs. Oh, okay. The original so. creators behind the Mobile Police OVAs TV series, and worked on character design and concept for the second movie. Mm -hmm. So he's been around a while for the series, but the screenplay of Miki Tori, uh, noticing in terms of background is that he worked on crusher joe the movie which i've never heard of before i'm not lying his his some his uh filmography is very very small compared to some of the other stuff interesting but it sounds like and plus this is the only thing that it that he is credited with uh writing the screenplay for hmm Oh, maybe that also some, that hindered the um, probably hindered the quality of the movie a bit, considering that this you got someone who wasn't a the director of the last two movies and b someone who wasn't the scriptwriter for the last two movies. You had some of the elements there, but it just wasn't a strong enough story, screenplay, and premise for it to really justify itself. It made it as a movie anyways. Yeah. Makes sense, Lenny? I completely agree. I'm, I'm going to say, you know, they had a core that I think was good. Like, the idea of that, like, that young lady, like, we'll say, having a hand in this monster in regards mm -hmm. to, like, her past or stuff. I feel like there was, there was a foundation there that could have really lended to it, but I didn't think they built on it enough emotionally. Like, she was just so deadpan the whole time that, like, I couldn't, like, say, feel super sympathetic for it. Like, on a conceptual level, I do. But the movie didn't actually, like, present that emotion as much as just said something that I would have gotten emotional over if I was involved. You know? Mm -hmm. And it, it can't just do that, you know? Like, if someone just yeah. scribbled on, like, a piece of paper, like, I had a bad childhood, you know? I'm like, that's not a story. You know? <laughs> you gotta You gotta work harder than that. So... And, and maybe they were just going for, like, she's dead inside, you know? But, like, that didn't... That wasn't executed well. If they were oh. going for her being dead inside, like, I can get that. Because you can have, like, some um, stories that work well with it. But I think it would have been a, a way to demonstrate that. Because if she's dead inside, then, then, you know, guy who, you know, 
main dude guy and limp man are also dead inside because they emoted about as much as she did, which is to say they didn't. And, like, if it was an example of, like, they were having a conversation and he was being kind of lighthearted and jovial and she just was completely deadpan all the time, or let's say, let, different example, all right? Let's say something horrific happened in front of both of them and she had no reaction. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine, like, some guy got hit by a car and he's, like, doing first aid and she's just kind of, like, staring at them with the same, like, very slight smile that she always has, you know? And then he would, mm-hmm. like, look up in, like, horror or something at the back then he's like like this man is bleeding you know is this not like you know affects you at all you know and then should be something like you know like oh he's just he's just hurt i don't see what the issue is you know then he could be like shocked at her lack of humanity or something Mm -hmm. like it's good to, to me at least if you're gonna demonstrate a movie where someone is emotionally dead you have to show someone who's emotionally alive to show the contrast, because otherwise you're not aware that this is a distinct person in this uh, setting. Right. That was well explained. Thank you. That pretty much sums it up exactly. Yeah, and and mind you, we're, we're getting more into speculation, but like again, I, I wouldn't dislike it, but to, to be frank, I don't... Outside of maybe watching it for animation versus because I, I love the animation in this, like... Outside of one or two bits of, like, obvious CG, it was very well made from a, like, technical standpoint. Um, Mm -hmm. So, I'll say, though, to be honest, though, like, I like, I'm just remembering and liking more of the shots from the second one. Like, especially, like, that shot with the bad guy surrounded by all the birds at the end of the second one, especially, still has stuck with me. I I completely agree on that one. But, yeah, I... That was just special. Yeah, if I had to, if I had to rate this one, I'd give maybe between like a, maybe six if I'm being harsh, seven if I'm being generous, you know, because like uh, first Pat, I would have given it a seven. Yeah, first Pat Labor movie, I probably would have given like an eight to eight and a half, and second one like a solid nine, but this one I'd say maybe a six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would probably give this a. Uh, war- I would say it is a. I want to say it's a watch at your own risk because it's not awful, and I wouldn't say it's a. F- I don't know if I would say it's a fun but flawed because I wouldn't say it was actually fun. It's, mm-hmm. it's okay but flawed. If I had to make an amendment or amendment to my normal rating system, it 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 is okay but flawed. Yeah. Fair enough. As, there's nothing there's nothing production wise that is offensively bad at it or suffers from a weak script weak characters and a weak premise that makes any sense whatsoever it does Very much so. and to go on the characters aspect also the least interesting villain out of the three in the trilogy mm-hmm Like you said, Lenny, the other two were sort of Machiavellian levels of strategy and intent and in what they were actually accomplishing. Because I remember us watching the second movie and us being dumbstruck by it. It was like, oh my god, that's brilliant. They're taking out the bridges one at a time. The towers are being knocked out one by one so they can't move. They can't communicate with each other. This is all so precise. It's brilliant. This one we're just sitting there going like oh it's a monster this one's gonna be they're gonna kill the monster wait they're talking about cancer cells it was made from cancer cells oh this lady's crazy oh yeah it's made from her dead kid cells oh no it's on fire <laughs> that is the movie we just watched yeah um, that's what I mean. Like the the reaction that we were getting was just we were just sitting down passively watching it rather than liter- just sitting there going like, oh my god, this is interesting. I want to see where this goes next. It's like, oh, well that happened. Moving on to next scene. Mm-hmm. I feel like most of what we were commenting on was something along the lines of us actually discussing how like interesting the payoff is going to be. 
and then we never got there. Yeah, it just ended. Like we we were always we like we were, like saw this and we're like, oh man, like an amphibious thing. That's gonna be. I wonder what that's all about. What's that all is all about? You know. And then we got to like the so like the sound like, oh man, someone's controlling it. I wonder what that's all about. And like, you know, and that's like, oh, cancer cells in a dead child. I wonder what that's all about. And not that we didn't get answers for that, but the answers didn't like yeah, affect us. It wasn't like a kick. There wasn't like a whoa moment. It was just like a. Like, we, we didn't even, like, comment on it when it happened. It just kind of continued. So, like, we were more impressed at the setup and potential this movie had than the actual payoff. Would you say this movie is the definition of a wasted potential? It's very high on wasted potential in regards to the way that it presents itself in its story. Again, on a technical level, I don't think they could have done, too, like, much better, you know, because, like, the way they showcase and animate everything from even minor details to the monster itself was very good. Especially towards the end when we see it, like, fully decked out in that, um, you know, labor armor. Like, mm-hmm. that shit was fucking dope. But, um, but, but uh, there's more they could have done with it, you know? And, like, I, Goto was surprisingly passive in this. Like, like, he was just kind of, like, as soon as they're like, I've taken over the plan and we're doing this, he was just kind of like, okay. Like... I'm like, does Goto really just let people kind of walk over him, like, for plans? I feel like Goto no. would know better than no. that. You know, and say so it's just like, okay, well, I mean, it's a, I guess it's a spinoff, so I'm not going to give a shit. Yeah, if anything, it's... Given how Goto normally subverts everything, I was especially... But in reality, it was all my plan from the very beginning. So there. Yep. No, but in this sense, it's like, nah, you go ahead and do your thing. Like, he doesn't protest it at all, which surprised me the most. Which, Grant, I was under the assumption that he was going to just do his thing. But no, he just ended up like, oh. Well, it's like they allude allude to that, too, because initially, like, one of the dudes who's working for, like, you know, the lab, he's like, this isn't according to the plan, and Goto's like, the plan has been altered, we're moving forward. And mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, oh, Goto, you're up to some shit. And then the, then at the end, the biz guy's like, nah, we brought incinerators, there's nothing you can do. And he doesn't even seem to get, like, visually, like, surprised by this. He, not even, like, he doesn't even raise an eyebrow. I don't think we even see him react. It's just like, Someone uh-huh. else is like, you know, bring in the flamethrowers and go to. It's like, all right, mission accomplished. Right. <laughs> flamethrowers is cool. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah. This uh, this movie is definitely a a very underwhelming end to a trilogy. But at least we got two good movies out of it. Yeah. Oh, I guess that wraps it up for uh, for us wanting the Pat Labor series. Is that correct? Yes, sir. We might revisit it one day, but not anytime soon. Well, Jalen, that was a very good uh, pick. Uh, despite my grievances with this final film, I'll say uh, the series as a whole was very good and entertaining, particularly the movies. So, uh, good job. Thank you. Yeah, I would say it's a overall solid pick. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I want uh, when I first found this franchise uh, earlier this year, I was like, "Man, this is really good. I got to share it with somebody." And then we started this, so I'm sharing it, and I share. Yeah. It. Uh, share hopefully everyone at home listening to this or wherever they are found it as entertaining as we did to listen to commentary over it yeah i hope you guys did too you know um what's the point of anime journeys if no one's journeying your anime with you that's pretty much it i mean the whole point of this series is to generate discussion and us to talk about it because i mean i don't I don't know about you, but I don't know that many people that you can regularly watch a show with from a day-to-day basis and discuss your opinions of the show as you're developing it. You You have to... have some, like, uh, roommates for that kind of stuff. Yeah, not someone like... Granted, I know we're not nowhere near the same locations as each other, but this is about as close as we can, like, feasibly do it. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. But it kind of feels like the same thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, I guess, uh, since Pat Labor is done, that means I'm up next. Yeah, step up to the plate. Uh, I need to make a decision on what the series is going to be next. That's not easy because I've got like four or five different ideas in my head. What are they? Uh, all right. Let me. Well, first off, let me get the shows up in front of me, just so that way I don't like overlap or co- collapse on my own train of thought. One of them, I have def. One of them is going to be La- Black Lagoon, just because I know Jalen. We were discussing that before. Mm-hmm. Black Lagoon. The other one is uh, Space Battleship Yamato twenty one ninety nine. Okay. Uh, the other one is uh, if we can find a way to watch this, I don't know if it's on a streaming site, but we can try. Is uh, Captain Harlock or Space Pirate Captain Harlock the original animated series? And there is, uh, shoot, the, I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of another one because the, or the two other ones that were in my head because I was pondering this today while we were uh or while i was out and thinking i gotta think of something for us to watch that we haven't seen yet i try and find something that i know i've watched but none of neither of you have seen but that's very difficult to consider that jalen is sort of like the the no mr uh encyclopedia of anime i try you can always surprise me though yeah um, another one. Okay, I have never seen this one, but I know it's been on my list for a while to watch. Uh, Fist of the North Star. Oh and boy, oh boy, that'd be something. Yo, Fist of, Fist of the North Star, and oh, there we go. Now I remember what it was. It was Unico. Uh, Both yeah. movies. Mm-hmm. Only because I am a Tessica fan, and I was like. Yes, I need to. I need one. I want an excuse to watch it again. But two, it's also two movies short. Mm -hmm. It is considerably less time than what we were doing for Pat Labor. But as soon as we were on a movie train, I was like, okay, maybe this would work. But Fist of the North Star, I would imagine, like, okay, I'm pretty sure the guys would be on board with this one. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Remember, that's like a hundred some episode show. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot how long that was. Um, I might have to reconsider that one now that you said that. <laughs> well, I'll say this: you definitely can, because I'm gonna be picking longer series, and it'd be good if I didn't do that by myself. Um, but on a note, I'll say maybe save that one for later and do the Unico ones since we can do the movie trend. Because my next pick is going to be a movie, so. Okay, then we'll do that. We'll do this as our our sort of movie block. If this, if if that we're if we're going to go off that train of thought. The yeah. movie block, I love it. All right. Well, then I guess uh, I guess in my case, I guess for my pick, then we'll be doing both Unico movies. Oh, I'm curious. What are the uh, what what are they on? Yeah, on Crunchyroll or I believe they are both on Crunchyroll. Let me just double check that. Okay. Ninety-nine point nine percent certain. Actually, wait. What am I thinking? I'm on Ver for crying out loud. <laughs> uh. Okay. So. Okay. So they are both. They're both dubbed. They're both the dubbed versions of Unico. Uh, let me see if the subtitle version is actually on Crunchyroll. Okay. Because uh, I don't remember if the when I watched it, I don't remember if I saw it subbed or dubbed. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like both ver- both the subs versions are on uh, are on Crunch- Crunchyroll itself. Okay. So maybe it's a licensing thing? Might be. Yeah, because I'm looking here on Verve right now that only shows access to the dubbed versions, not the sub versions. That's really interesting. 
I have never, I didn't think that was a, the, something that would happen, but well, I guess that's a thing. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll just do that then. Next uh, round, go round will be both a Unico double feature. Sweet. Coolio. Jalen, do you want to send us off for this episode? All righty. Folks, I hope you had a good time with this Pat Labor series. Join us next time for when we start watching the Unico movies. Till then, I'm Jalen, and that's Perry and Lenny. See you later, folks. Have a good night.